Hey, what is up guys? Luminazil here. In today's video, we're going to be starting with a thousand gold kit and see how far we can snowball. I'm going to be playing on my current favorite class, which is the Demon Warlock. Uh, it's no spells, just Phantomize and Demon Form. And the perks I'm running is Shadow Touch, Vampirism, Anti-Magic, and Dark Reflect. So this is a little bit different than how most people run it with Soul Collector and Demon Armor. So we're not going to get the plus five all, but I feel like I like detransition from... Uh, demon form too often, so I think Dark Reflection is a little bit better, and I also don't think I need Demon Armor, and I can run Anti-Magic, so that's how I run it. Um, I'm not the first person to come up with this build. I'll link to the channel where I first saw this, and uh, shouts out to him because this build is awesome. All right, let's go over the buying process, and we'll see our stats and jump into a couple games. I'm going to grab this Shadow Mask with buff duration and action speed for 115. I'm going to grab this Occultist Tunic for 100 gold with will, buff duration, and physical damage reduction. We're going to grab these Occultist Pants for 55 gold. We're going to grab these Lace Turn Shoes with, for 90 gold and Movement Speed Bonus in two decks. It's a good find. We're going to grab these Reinforced Gloves with True Physical for 70 gold. We're going to grab this Chris Dagger with Buff Duration and Physical Power for 100 gold. We're going to grab this Frost Amulet for 110 gold with Buff Duration Armor. We're going to grab this Ring of Resolve with Buff Duration and True Fizz for 159 gold. For 165 gold, we're going to grab this Ring of Survival with additional Fizz and buff duration. And with the last little bit of gold, we're going to grab some Health Potions and Vanishes. Alright, looking at the stats, we got 121 Health, 101 Movement Speed, 20% Physical Damage Reduction, 16% Magic Resist, both of these are which are going to go up, Anti-Magic plus Demon Form, and then 6% Physical Power Bonus and 25% Magic Power Bonus. Alright guys, let's jump into our first game and see how we do. All right, this guy popped his stuff way too early. We're just gonna go in here for a little hit. Okay, probably taking too many hits here. I played that so poorly. Still came up on top, holy. First game on, I'm rusty as hell, holy. All right, well. Still came out on top, barely though. Action speed, I think these are actually pretty expensive. Um, oh, five movement speed too, nice. Well, here's somebody. What? Let me get way too close. I didn't even demon form there. I didn't have time. Holy. He looked kind of juiced. He's the one that killed somebody else, so he definitely has some loot for us. Yeah, normally you would really want a demon form there just for the extra stats, but I did not have time. Well, I should have demon formed early, but I don't want demon forming early. People just run away. Yeah, wizard's a, wizard's a tough one. Especially in this open room, I really should not have won that. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, okay, boys. Um, okay, I thought he was geared. Um, didn't I didn't know he was that geared. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. I mean, I'll definitely take it. I mean, phantomize, I, you can't phantomize towards a wizard. I mean, you're just going to get fire mold. If you can close a distance like that, that's like really all you have to do. Even when I play geared, I take off my vision crystal when I'm running at wizards. You just need all the movement speed you can, and you just got to stick on them. But normally, I would try to blood pack around a corner and then sprint at them. I'll have like a lot of, you know, way more move speed than they do. And, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, about closing the distance and then healing through their damage best you can. Damn, guys. What a crazy game.
All right, guys, so here's how we're going to do the upgrading process, the snowballing process. I'm actually going to use the trade chat, but what I'm going to do is sell everything in our inventory, but not actually sell everything. I'm going to see how much it's worth and then undercut it and going to add it to a total. And then we'll use that money that I have from when I will sell it. And um, we'll use that amount of money to buy some more gear. So I'm probably not going to show everything because that'd take too long and I don't want the video to be that long. But <laughs> uh, yeah. You can probably price check me on everything if you'd wanted to. And yeah, let's see how much all this stuff is worth. All right, guys, for the necklace apiece, we have one that's similar. One true magic, magic healing, action speed for 1788. But this one hasn't sold in a long time, so only well, yeah, has three days left. We're going to say it's worth 1299. All right, guys, so for the leather chastises, I mean, there's only a couple that are even similar to it. Three magic power, two will. An additional memory capacity. I'm pretty sure those are all high rolls. All right, I think ours are kind of similar to these. Uh, I mean, these are really good with spellcasting speed. So I'd probably list it maybe just to sell it quick. Twenty-eight ninety-nine, because I think people just like that extra magic power and will. So yeah, I think twenty-eight ninety-nine it would sell. All right, and then for the boots with five additional movement speed, one magic power. I'm <laughs> looking around two thousand gold. So I'd list this for seventeen ninety nine. dollars All right, guys, and with our 1,000 gold kit, we killed somebody worth about 10,000 gold uh, for all those items with, you know, obviously the person that he killed and their items as well. So we're going to use that 10,000 gold, and now we're going to build a 10,000 gold kit. Some upgrades. Let's do it. All right, first piece of upgrade that we're going to get is a new Shadow Mask, Max Health, Physical Damage Bonus, and Buff Duration for 888. All right, next up, we're going to grab a new Chris Dagger, Legendary Buff Duration, Armor Pen, and Physical Power. For $7.99. Next up, we got the Vision Crystal. Found one that's really good for our build. Physical damage bonus, max health bonus, armor pen, and buff duration for $7.50. We're going to grab these reinforced gloves with true fizz, action speed, and buff duration. $7.50. I'm actually going to stick to the Occultist tunic. It, don't, it only has minus 5 movement speed, which I think is pretty good. And 5 strength helps out a lot with the physical damage bonus. So we're going to grab this one with 6 max health and buff duration for $2.49. Next huge upgrade that we're going to grab are the Brave Hunter Pants. 2,200 gold gets us 6 max health and buff duration. Alright, for 600 gold, we're going to grab these light foots. Really good. 1.3 movement speed, buff duration, and 2 vigor for only 600 gold. Alright, next up, we're going to grab some Grimmies with buff duration and true fizz. These are actually pretty cheap, so we're going to try to buy these quickly. 849. We'll move up to 999 for this one with a little bit of physical damage reduction. Next up, we're going to grab this Adventure Cloak with True Fizz, Armor Pen, and Buff Duration for 888. Next up, we're going to grab this Fox Pendant with True Fizz and Buff Duration for 445. We're going to grab the cheapest Epic Crystal Sword with Max Health for 300. We're going to grab these Protection Potions for 129. So I'm going to grab an extra Heater Shield and Chris Dagger. The reason being is because if we run into a Barbarian, we can try to block the first hit and kind of win the fight that way. Um, still working on it. That's like the best way to, to fight some of these barbs with this Y hammer, but seems to be okay. All right, guys, now let's check out the stats. We got 150 health. That's going to go up to 200 health when we're in demon form. 106.2% movement speed, or 319. We got 9% action speed, 21% physical damage reduction, 12% magic resist. Both of those are going to go up. One, because of anti-magic, and two, because of the blood pact, giving us 30 armor and 30 magic resist. 7.1 physical damage bonus, and 17% magic power. Also, I forgot to highlight before, but we are at 54.3% buff duration without our weapons out. With our weapons out, we'll be over 60% buff duration. And yeah, this is pretty much a complete build. And yeah, let's see what we can do with it. There was somebody here. Went this way, actually. Try and see if we can find him. Here's them out to our left. There's a fighter. I just does not want to fight us. And we heal, we heal, we heal. 
We're still healing, and he's dead. We're still healing through that. Oh, Lee. That's why it's so good. I mean, we played it not great either because we damage formed right in his face, but I don't think this guy's very geared. Didn't really do much much damage to us, so... I mean, purples. Something. Max health armor. I'm pretty sure that goes for a lot. Action speed armor. Ooh, that's a good helmet. So we will take all that. Continue on our way. Alright, let's see you guys some more healing. Yep. Excited I do. Probably popped healing too early there. Oh damn, he's geared too, but... Alright, we gotta bring the crystal sword out for this. I don't- I actually don't want to fight him right now. Need to bring this out. Second wind. Looks like he is getting away. Did he heal, anyways? Yes, I don't know where you went, though. This guy could be anywhere. And check down low. Yeah, I just try to. <laughs> nice. We're on this guy. Demon form. Doors open. Come here, buddy. Just want to have a friendly talk with you. That guy's geared. You can already tell. Damn, yeah, he, I know this guy's geared. You can just tell how many times I had to hit that guy. Holy. Strong warrior. True fizz, max health. Yeah, we'll take all that. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna make sure we're safe here. Oh, armor max health. Ooh. Oh, damn. All right, buddy. I got you. You had the juice for us. <sighs> Let's go, man. That's exactly why you have to bring in the crystal sword. Armor physical adjustment. Oh, my gosh. This man's got some biz for us. Holy. Oh, it just gets better and better. It just gets better and better and better. Oh my gosh, double ruled. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's really good. I don't I don't know what I can drop here. Wheel decks, I mean. 
Oh, a tri belt double it. I don't even know how much that goes for. Okay, actually, I do not. I drop that. I drop that, and I put this in the inventory. Alrighty, we're out of here. Let's go, boys. All right, guys. Definitely a big haul. Holy, that's some insane loot there. <laughs> oh man, we are snowballing for sure. <laughs> it's only like what two games? That's crazy. Well, you know, let's uh, let's see. Let's see how much all this is going to be worth. All right, guys, I am so happy I dropped the Crystal Sword for the Tripel Doublet. The Tripel Doublet, with terrible stats, still goes for 999. Easy. All right, guys, first 10 armor, 6 max health. Find Curious with 104 base armor rating. Those are 1777. This one's even better because it has 106 armor rating. Um, so, you know, why not 1599 just to get it sold a little bit quicker? All right, guys, I didn't realize how good these loose trousers were. Five max health, eight armor rating, 1.7 action speed. Probably started off with like 6,299. Just to see if it sells. Like that's, that is crazy for one piece. These heavy gauntlets only have legendaries associated with them for 6,000 gold. I mean, it's safe to say we killed Abyss. Abyss fighter. Two agility. We're, I mean, we're talking like, I don't know, probably like 5,000. Make it undercut these guys. 5, 1.5 goes for about 2,000, so putting like 1,700 on these. So the Frost Emma goes for about, I don't know, I'd probably put it for like 1,500 just to get it 1,600, just to get it sold quick. So yeah, we're talking 1,100 gold just for that one Grimmy. All right, guys, obviously you can price check me if you want, but I estimate all the gear that we got from that last raid is worth around 20 to 25,000. All right, guys, let's get one more game in. It's safe to say it's we snowballed enough. I didn't buy any new gear because I think our kit's already pretty cracked, so... All I did was bring in some oil lanterns in case we run into a rat. A longsword in case I run into the bear form druid. I feel like I struggle so much against the bear form. Um, so maybe I can try to parry. Again, got the Chris dagger and heater shield in case we run into a barb. Crystal sword in case we run into a PDR fighter like that other guy we just ran into. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here. Hello, sir. Who might you be? I be me. What you be? You be you? Well, I be me. I think we should fight here, buddy. Why isn't, why isn't everything illegal? Oh, because we're normals. But let's fight and we'll figure it out. Hey, why don't you want to fight? Oh, no. I'm sorry, brother. Oh, I'm so sorry, brother. Oh, no. Hey, he had a cloak on, dude. He had a cloak on, okay? And he thought he was in... He even thought he was in HR. He said, why isn't everything a loot crate? <clears throat> hey! Off of me. Oh, no. He got hit twice by the boat. Oh, man. Just check this out real quick. Hey, I'm low. I just killed somebody. I don't want to fight you right now. And I'm real low. Okay, let's just pretend we're low. Hey, can you let me heal first? Jump that. Damn it, this is why I hate fucking druid, man. Like, what am I? I Damn. Druids are so tough to kill. Holy. Everybody's saying that Druid isn't good? Like, I don't understand. Like, I mean, obviously that guy wasn't that good, but 
Man, if you have a good druid player, like, this guy's not even geared. Oh no. Oh no, I thought, I thought. Oh no, dude. Uh, I feel bad for that one. Okay, we got a barbarian. Let's see what we can do here. So, he's going for health drawing. I'm gonna try to block. Okay, he lost it anyways. Okay, let's phantomize here. So we took an arm shot. Okay, we'll let him heal, actually. Oh my god, this guy's full like this. I would almost got him, I just missed too many shots. Plus, I had the Barbarian on me. Let's see this guy. Oh, we, we should have got this guy. Man, we should have got this guy. Oh, I fucked up so bad, guys. Oh, no. That's how we died. I'm okay died to this guy, but... I messed up so bad. I missed so many hits. But, man, where did he come from? This guy came out of nowhere, and... We had the... I don't know. I think we died to... The barb, honestly. Yeah, this guy just looted all my stuff and is dipping. Man, we messed up. Does he have buff duration on everything? Not really. We should have won that. Man, I just... Man, I messed that up. Missed too many hits. It was going to be tough going against the Barb, though. And Barb would have taken everything and scooted anyways, but... Mm. Tough, 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 tough. <laughs> I'm okay going out like that. Oh, man. Hey, GG's to this guy. Blood Lemonade. Doesn't have a necklace. He's running all this gear. No necklace. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. That's awesome. Man, really disappointed though how I played that. Could have played way better. But uh, you know what? GG's to him. And uh, to, this, <laughs> to this barb who got all my stuff. <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.